Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 9, a part 5 of the Sakura Hills for the Easter Classic Tournament play from 2nd T, which is Pro and Expert Division. Video sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. And before we start, make sure that you do hit the like button also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. The ultimate tournament guides that we do offer for every division can be found through patreon.com slash golfclash. Tommy, read more and get your package through the link in the description down below. So let's take a look at hole number 9, this is going to be a long par 5 and if you do have a crosswind or a headwind, sorry crosswind or a tailwind is what I'm trying to say, then we shall try to go as far down the fairway possible, use as much top spin possible and one bar of left spin. Adjustment is going to be maximum distance plus 10, once you have done that you need to push up to max. I'm using a power fireball here to get myself the most power or like the most distance possible with my drive because that is going to help for the second shot. If you do have a direct headwind, you need to be prepared to lay up short and play three shots towards the pin. And that could be obviously a very difficult thing to get the eagle. You see here we ends up very nicely up towards the fairway bunker and the rough. And from here we're going to play the Guardian, and the reason we're going to play the Guardian is because we do want to have the backspin. Because the way of dropping this one for an Albatross, or let's say like this, the very, very, very few times this ball is going to be dropped for an Albatross, we're going to have to use backspin trying to get the ball to be up the green above the pin to then fall down towards the pin and roll into the hole. I adjust maximum distance plus 5 from overpowered position and then I'm going to use a little bit of overpower because I was still in overpower after adjustment and then we're gonna use half a ball of curl to the right. Obviously the curl and the overpower will vary depending on what type of uh, uh, position you do have after the drive. The ball comes down nicely towards the pin and you know you know it's gonna be a safe eagle putt. I'm not expecting this one to drop for an albatross but I do expect myself to be on green for a simple eagle and that is the only thing that I'm looking for on hole number 9. If getting an albatross here, consider that to be a very big bonus. Video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your Golf Clash game.